Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the Victorinox switch tool. This has 26 functions in it and has a bottle opener, a screwdriver in 5mm, a wire render, a ruler in centimeters and in inches, needle nose pliers, a wire cutter for thin and soft wire up to 40HRC, a hard wire cutter, a wire crimper, Phillips screwdriver, blade with a large wavy edge, a large straight blade, a screwdriver for 2mm, a screwdriver for 7.5mm, a crate opener, wood saw, a chisel in 7mm and scraper, a wire stripper, a wire scraper, a metal saw, a metal file, a reamer and punch, a can opener, a screwdriver in 3mm, and we also have the ruler in inches, a lanyard hole, and a coupling for a corkscrew add-on. The weight is going to be about 290 grams. Width is going to be 35 millimeters. Length is going to be 115 millimeters. And height is going to be 21 millimeters. The material is made out of steel with a little bit of chrome in there. There are locking tools in this model. Here we can see the Victorinox Swiss tool on the table with a measurement here for the pouch that it's included with. This is an older, late 1990s, early 2000s model. It's about 11 ounces on the weight here. If we take off the pouch itself, we get a weight of about 9.9 .9 ounces. Here on the outside, we have the measurements for the inches. On the outside here, we have the release mechanisms for the locking items on the outside. Almost all the tools are accessible on the outside here. We do have a spot for a future pocket clip and the corkscrew to be added in on either side here on the tool. And we have the centimeters marking on this side for the ruler, the Victorinox logo, and also the identifier for the model on here. Almost all the tools can be accessed from the outside, with the exception of the pliers on the inside and the wire cutters. We have the smaller slotted screwdriver here. And to release all these locking tools, pull back on this and it comes back into play. We have our three-sided file. We have a fine crosshat section, more coarse, and a metal file here, or saw. Next up is our 3D screwdriver. It's pretty beefy, pretty strong, and it's got a good tip here. Next is our awl. It's sharp under one edge, so you can scrape with that if you like. There's no sewing eyelet in this one, like there is usually in most traditional Victorinox knives. And we have the wavy blade here. On this side we have the saw, which is a pretty good wood saw. I've used this several times on the trail. Cuts really nicely. It's thicker on the bottom and thinner at the top, and it locks into place here. Here we have our combo tool. This is a slotted screwdriver at the top here, and you might be able to fit that in, into some Phillips head screwdrivers based on the contours of the driver there. And then we also have the can opener, and I use this as a package opener too because this tip is pretty sharp and it's good for cutting into tape. Moving along we have our bottle cap lifter and another slotted screwdriver and a wire bender here. Moving along we have our chisel piece which you can also double up as a light duty Slide it screwdriver if you wanted to. We have our wire strippers here, different sizes for different types of cable and insulated wiring. Next up is a really beefy slotted screwdriver, and this can double as a very light duty pry bar here. And then we have our main blade here. We 
Let's open up the tool to the inside to reveal the pliers, the needle nose section here in the top, the regular pliers in the center, and the hard and soft wire cutter here. What I like about this tool is that it's very tight in the fit and finish. There's very tight tolerances. So when you use the ruler like this, it lines up very well. There's no skips in the ruler, so you can continue measuring continuously with the ruler on it, which I like very much. I actually prefer the centimeter side as a little more fine gradient in measuring items. And you can also configure this in a L orientation. So if you have to draw, you kind of have an L shape to draw with, which I find useful in some cases. This is a late 1990s, early 2000s model. You can tell based on the plier head in the front here, the way the Victorinox logo is, the logo on top, and the way this is mounted for the rotation. Sometimes they switch this at a point in time where it's reversed, where this is the movable part and this isn't. So interesting upgrades they've done throughout the years. And the plier head has become a little bit more beefier. I don't have an example to show you, but they do upgrade these plier heads and the models as the years go by. This is called the Swiss tool. There's no designation after it. The other models, sometimes they switch out the saw for a pair of scissors or perhaps even the serrated or wavy blade for a pair of scissors or another implement. Depends on which model you get. Sometimes they have a curved blade option for this line of the Swiss tool. There's various Swiss tools on the main website. Overall, I've had this for about a year and it is a fantastic tool. I've used it on the trails for trail maintenance and it has worked fairly well. Some negatives about it, I, I'd have to say, are the tight tolerances. If you do get any kind of dirt, and stuff in there this has a potential of not opening up or being easily accessible and as it is it is what i call a nail buster meaning i have busted my nails on these small nail nicks here to get out the implements that is my only con about this is that it's kind of hard to operate this if at all one-handed with the exception of maybe accessing the pliers but it's so tight and under spring tension that you need two hands to operate this tool Going back to some of the pros of the Victorinox Swiss tool, it is chrome infused with a certain amount of chrome inside the metal. It is stainless steel. They don't list the exact type of stainless steel as it's a sort of a mystery for this type of tool, but it is a very heavy duty tool. It's got a nice premium feel compared to say other tools in, in the market, such as the Leatherman's. This is such a tight finish, fit and finish of the tool. It's very high quality. And it is robust. I haven't broken any of these tools and I put them under medium stress within reason of a multi-tool. Now it goes without saying this is not a replacement for a main tool. Never will be. But in my situation, I don't always have the ability to carry a toolbox with me for a job so, or while I'm out on the trail. So this is the next best option that I have. And overall, I do prefer to carry this other than my Leatherman Super Tool 300 because this has every tool that I need in it with the exception of scissors and it gets the job done being outdoors. And I particularly like the ruler on this type of tool because it is accurate and it is a continuous ruler setup, which I really like for measuring items and potentially drawing too if I have to or marking up or scoring. There are accessories for this. I don't have or own, but there is a corkscrew that goes into the fitting here. And they were working on a pocket clip for this particular model to go in here. And they did release one about a year ago, but they had to recall it because it, it, the screw that fitted into the slot here to make this pocketable with the pocket clip was becoming loose. So they are working on future iterations of expansions for this slot here on this tool. So you just keep that in mind if you do get this tool. Now I got this off of eBay maybe about for about 
$80 or so, maybe a little less than that, $70 you use. And again, this is a late 1990s, early 2000s model. The newer models have improved the plier head uh, a little bit better, so you do get a better upgrade. Now, these also come with a lifetime warranty, so you could theoretically buy an old one, send it in, and they might update it with the newer iteration of the tool. So that's important to note. Overall, it is a nice tool for the weight and the heft and the quality that it offers. And I would use this for a medium duty, sometimes heavy duty task. It, I would consider it the heavy duty tool of the Swiss Army Swiss tool lineup because this thing is pretty beefy. And I would use it within that reason, of course, compared to, say, the Super Tool 300, which is also considered a heavier duty type of tool in the Leatherman lineup. And that's all I have to say about the Victorinox Swiss Tool. If you're thinking about getting one, I would recommend it as it's a great tool and it has some nice premium features that you won't find on many other heavy duty type of tools. And this is sort of like top tier tool in their lineup in terms of being robust and features. And like I said, there's different iterations of these models that sometimes swap out the serrated blade or the wavy blade as they like to call it for scissors so you can kind of customize it to your preference and we all know how nice victorinox scissors are so that might be an option for you once again thanks for watching you guys and enjoy your day